What's up everybody? Today we are gonna break down a pretty cool social graphic and I'm gonna show you how I use AI as a tool for this graphic. So we have our black background. We have a very, 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 very subtle uh, like noisy grain texture on the bottom. Then we have a very subtle overlay of kind of a gradient from darker to lighter, I believe. And then we have the map, sort of a roadmap of Memphis because that is where the game was gonna be played. It was a game week graphic, I believe. Then we have the stadium where the game was gonna be played below and we just make that black and white. So that's just a picture of the stadium, with the little fade, black and white. An effect on the, later, on the layer to like pull away the white. So the sky was white. So basically if you drag the slider down, it takes away the lightest areas. If you hold alt, you can separate this slider and make it a little bit more gradual. So that is where I ended up with that. That was set to normal. So I added another one on top of it just to make it pop a little bit, but not too much. And I set that to soft light. That's also with a black and white filter. And I just painted that in just a little bit, like right in here, just to make the stadium pop. We don't need any of this other stuff, like, you know, popping off the page as much as just kind of like the bowl of the stadium. Again, these are both very background elements. I don't know if I personally would have chosen to put them in there, but they wanted these photos in there. Um, and I don't think it looks bad. I just, uh, I just don't know if it may have looked cleaner without them. But anyway, so we added in these black boxes for the logos and a little verses in between. So all you're doing here is just making a little black square if you want to go this route and putting the logo on top of it and then holding alt and clicking in between the layers. And that is how you do that. So I want it to be Memphis themed, obviously. This stuff already makes it sort of Memphis themed, um, but there's a Memphis style of design and you can look it up to kind of really get a view on what that is. I won't really try to explain it, but it sort of looks like what I'm doing here, adding like shapes and things like that all over the background. Um, so I just made triangles um, and then I had another triangle with each of them underneath. So all of these groups are just a triangle with another of the same triangle underneath it with the, the dissolve option chosen. And those are all at 5% opacity. So you really have to lower the opacity to make it uh, have that look. And then I just kind of put those all over. A couple are strategic. Sometimes they're not always as strategic. And then uh, some other Memphis style uh, little pieces in here. So all these are sort of to go along with that. And they all have these gradient overlays except for these two lines right here. Again, those are just little design pieces, not really there to do anything super specific. These are obviously just little guitar like PNGs. These are saxophone PNGs and they just have a gold overlay with a gradient overlay on top of that. Very easy to do. Um, we have game week up at the top with that same gradient overlay. So again, like all of this is the same. It's just gold text, gold, whatever. Put a gradient overlay on it, gives it that pop look. Then I did the same thing with this text down here, takeover. So it was gonna be 901 takeover. That's the, uh, that was like the theme of their week because I guess Memphis is like a 901 um, area code. So, and I just give you a preview, I'll just leave it up there. My, my first objective to um, make this graphic work was find something that will really give it that Memphis theme. And in Memphis, you, you can see a lot of neon lights. It has a lot of, to do with like instruments. It's like apparently the birthplace of blues and jazz or something. I'm not really sure to be honest. And so between those two things, I thought, okay, we'll throw some guitars and some saxophones in here and 
you know, use them as a piece of that like Memphis design style where there are just kind of like shapes throughout. And then we'll have neon lights be the 901. So there are certain um, subscriptions where you can like get assets sort of like these, like they have neon lights and other things. Um, I don't have those subscriptions, but I do have an AI generation subscription. So I just decided to make my own. I was like, you know, if they're not, if they don't all look the same, that's fine. Cause in, in those other subscriptions, they probably all would look the same. But I was like, you know, I think it's okay if they all look different. So obviously they all have different styles and they're not always gonna be perfect. Um, like this one isn't perfect. I had to like, you know, edit in some things. And there were some complications with that because it kept wanting to like make every number a three. I, I don't know why, but it's like, anytime I would type in like basically like anything, it just wanted to make it a three instead. So like it was pretty tough to get a nine. Like it just kept putting like threes out and eventually when it made a nine, I just chose that one. So anyway, that's how I came up with those. And then I just gave each of those a outer glow. The outer glow is set to screen 50% size, um, just the same color of the light. So pretty simple stuff there. And then these two hue saturations are set to colorize and then saturation all the way up. And then you just pick the color and paint it in and set it to screen. So that I just painted in right here where this light would be hitting him and then behind his elbow where the light would be hitting him. And then this is a gold one for this other uh, number and just painted it in along this edge. So it's very subtle, not like, you know, super extreme. It's good enough. And then I wanted to give it some depth. So I put this one behind his arm, but in front of him. And the way I did that was this layers in front of him, but I just use his cutout as a group. So I put that one in this group and then put a layer mask on that group and just brushed away where his arm is and where the football is. And that makes it look like it's behind him. So then up top, we just added in another or a couple more screen layers, one red, one gold, just to kind of brush over like broadly this area and this area and this area. And that just kind of gives it that lighting look. So like just gives it that glow. You don't need a lot. It's definitely very easy to overdo. Um, sometimes it can be hard to find how much you need. And I often debate whether I should even do it, but I think that turned out well. And then I just did the apply image technique and that's what it looks like down below. That's a regular layer set to 60%, just painted it in the bottom. And then I did the same thing, but set it to screen and put that over top of the whole graphic. And as you can see, it just really makes it pop, really gives it that glow, kind of blends it all together. And that's it. So this graphic will probably sooner or later be on the Patreon, not 100% sure, but you can look. If not, I'm sure there are plenty of other ones that you can learn from that kind of incorporate a lot of the same things. So go check that out, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.